the uh, little proposal, which was the cliffhanger last season. I understand that Lois's answer, Terry, was a resounding maybe. Yes, resounding maybe. Well, now that she's got all this overwhelming information and totally new identity to deal with, she has to let that sink in and see how she feels about it. But look at the rules you can break here. His, uh, history says that Superman has never gotten married. Is, is this a good thing? And I also think about, you know, Rhoda Mor Morgenstern and uh, oh, and Moonlighting when they got together. It kind of brought the ratings down, didn't it? It did in that case, but I think in our, in our case, it's going to do the opposite. I think with those guys, they were working as Dave and Maddie. They were working as a team. That was a lot of fun. They did things together. That's sort of the same thing we're going to have here. Um, basically, it, it means like the season starts now. I mean, this is the beginning of the whole new thing. Mm -hmm. And with the two of us working together, I think it makes it much, much, much more fun. And I think that I've always wanted them to get together personally. I'm so excited by this prospect. <laughs> now, yeah. Terry, which do you think is the better husband, Clark Kent or Superman? Well, that, that's tough. I, I think I think Clark is more fun and more emotional and more normal and relatable. But at the same time, Superman could do the dishes in 10 minutes and, Ooh. I mean, 10 seconds and clean the whole house in 10 seconds. So he would make a pretty good housewife. I guess the question is, what come else on. does Superman do in 10 seconds? I don't know. It's well, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, come on now. Come on now. Or maybe it would take hours. <laughs> yeah. right. I mean, I could come up with some very, very major things here. I, I won't even... I, I won't even go into Let's that. Okay? Go there. We're just opening Let's up a whole can of worms. <laughs> stay away from it. You guys have a, a very palatable chemistry, even via satellite. As we we talk to you, you seem to generally like each other. See, there you go. That little that little uh, <laughs> elbow there. Tell him, tell him how much you like me. Oh, uh, I like much. her very much. She's wonderful. <laughs> But, but I understand from what I read is that, I don't remember exactly whose quote it was, but one of you said that you've got great chemistry when the camera's on, but off camera, not as much. Are you faking it or is there a genuine like here? It seems to be pretty real. That was her comment. So. No, but I didn't say quite that. I said that I didn't think we were attracted to each other in mm -hmm. real life. But, you know, since I said that, I've reevaluated and... <laughs> Dean's been working out, and I'm sort of starting to change my mind. Um, I, I, we're not really actively friends off camera. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't, you know, go out with our mutual spouses or partners or whatever. We don't really hang out. But I think when we're at work, um, we're very supportive of each other and friendly and, and you know, goofy and joke around. And I also think we both feel obligated to keep the crew up and happy and so we fool around a lot on the set. I think it's more like, you know, I think basically, you know, we spend so much time together every day um, and what we do, we have a chemistry. We have a chemistry here, we have a chemistry on, on screen and that's, and that's something that's intangible. You know, if two people can work together and, and do things together, that's fantastic. You never even know when you're cast whether these people are going to work out or not and I think the chemistry isn't a question. It's, it's a matter of, you know, we spend almost every waking hour together so when we're on our free time mm -hmm. you know you go there i'll go here we'll be back here in about seven oh, hours and everything so will be fine <laughs> <laughs> you know i think that's what ends up happening in just in just life terry um i, I would say that you're one of the two best looking women on television okay Woo. who's uh, the other one well Mark? you know Wait, who's yeah. the other one i'm, and I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting next to this woman over here that uh, i work with on a day-to-day -day basis who i'm oh, attracted oh, to as right. well that's so a I, good answer no I, and i mean it but um you uh, just did a, a movie where there was a nude scene that they were going to take out, and you said, uh, put that back in. Why'd you do that? Um, my father will kill me for saying this, but it, it is true. It was originally in, and then they were going to take it out. And when I talked to the director about it, um, I really felt that it nailed the character on the head in five seconds. Mm -hmm. um, she comes out and she meets, that's the first time you see this well, character. We look forward really... to, uh, to seeing that character. So 8 o'clock on ABC, Sunday nights, and Dean, any day you want to exchange jobs, you come here and host and I go over there and fill in for you. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> you got a deal. Oh, good. Oh, I'll take you up on that. will be nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, know, you can put the suit on, see how you like it. Huh? <laughs> I wouldn't fill it out like you do. Thanks good for being with us. Season. We'll be watching. Thank you. Coming back with more Biggers and Summers after this.